Variety is reporting that wheels are in motion to try to get a Need for Speed sequel into development. According to the report, EA, or Electronic Arts, and a Chinese investment group, which also partially funded Transformers 4, want to move ahead with the sequel, but have not yet begun talks with the studio DreamWorks at this time. Mark, do you buy or sell that a Need for Speed sequel will happen? Well, I was selling it when I heard Need for Speed sequel. Then I heard Transformers 4, <laughs> and boy, do I want to sell the crap out of this thing. I, don't, I, I totally sell this idea. I didn't like the first Need for Speed at all. It was another attempt at making a video game film and ripping off Fast and Furious. And what Fast and Furious, how that franchise has grown, I didn't see any potential for that with this first Need for Speed. Even the fact that like, like they wasted what could have been a cool storyline with Michael Keaton's character. There was nothing in there. It was just Aaron Paul emoting in the back of a car. And plus, there's a lot of like... I hated seeing how many cops died in Need for Speed. And it's like, we're still rooting for the... Who are we exactly rooting for? They're doing an illegal street race. There's a bunch of cops that are chasing after them, trying to arrest them, and then their cars get flipped over and explode. And we're like, oh, that was awesome. So how fast that Corvette went. I, I, I hate this movie every time I think about it. So in short, I'm selling a Need for Speed sequel. I'm going to buy it. I actually like Need for Speed. <laughs> I uh, no, did, did I think the movie was great? No, no, the movie was not great. I, and I think... If it wasn't for the fact, I'll admit, if it wasn't for the fact that I was so taken with the fact, going back to our discussion about digital versus practical, that there was no CGI in that movie. All the car stunts you see happening are actual, phys that's physically happening. They CG none of it. And I think I was so taken with that, that that might have bumped up my enjoyment of the film like two or three notches, whereas if that wasn't for that, maybe I would be coming out with a thumbs down. But that did bring me into it. I did really like that aspect of it. And it was kind of, in today's age, really new and fresh. I mean, obviously back in the 80s, that's the way they did them all the time. That's what they had to do them. Today, it's totally different. And so I was kind of taken in by that. The fact that it made over $200 million worldwide also kind of makes it yeah, a little bit a little bit of a no-brainer, I think, that you go ahead and do it. If you got some money behind it now, the original gaming company's all for it, and now with the huge success, of because it is a Fast and Furious ripoff, there's no denying it. I actually think Need for Speed was better than Fast and Furious 1. I, I thought the first three Fast and Furious movies were all terrible, but that's just me. Um, you got money behind it. You got this huge effect of Fast and Furious 7 that you can ride the wave of a little bit at this point. I think you go ahead and do it and then hope that all the other aspects of Need for Speed 2 are much better than the same aspects of Need for Speed 1, and they don't just rely on the fact that they got practical car effects. Yeah, um, yeah, I buy it, but I have a question before I buy it. Is that you, so you you would say you liked the movie, thought it was a good movie? I walked out going, yeah, I liked it. How come you don't, I'm just curious, uh, how come you don't mention it in the good video game? Uh, uh, no, no, great, great question. Another friend of mine asked me that the other night. The reason I don't kind of list that as a, as a good, well, I, I'm not even sure I'd say Need for Speed is good. <laughs> as yeah. I walk, I'll say I, I, didn't think, I didn't pleasure. feel like it failed i'll yeah. say that much for it. is because there is nothing if you went in to watch that movie and you walked out and you said hey what do you think the title of that movie was you'd never say need for speed right. there's there's nothing associated <laughs> with that more, movie with that more game. the fact that it was a ripoff yeah ripoff. they just took the title yeah. from from the video game right um great I, question though i would i would buy that they're going to make it but i'm also with mark into where i sell whether or not i want to see it or not i don't i don't care it didn't it didn't it, it was a like you said a pure ripoff of fast seven i ha i can go see furious seven i can go see that i like the characters a lot more in the furious franchise than i did i like aaron paul a lot i thought he was he was fine in it i thought he did a little more than emoting but that, that's me but i think that his his team that they put him with ludicrous they are not the rock no, they, they are, are not, not. <laughs> the, the the jokes failed miserably there was one really awkward scene where a guy's walking around naked in the in the yeah what a weird i what did not stupid, understand yeah. that scene it, it at wasn't all. funny it was no it wasn't. Uh, there was a guy that could have done there, there were tons of comedic actors that could have pulled it off that guy although a good I actor, anybody pulls off that scene i, I don't know I, I just it didn't work there yeah um and it, it it's a movie that i understand why they would make it because like you said 200 million dollars let's try it for a second one aaron paul i think his star is going to rise more whether he's going to be in rogue one who knows he's he's rumored for a lot of different things yeah. he's got the charisma he's got he, he's an actor that people want to see not just because of breaking bad because he's he's a likable dude um so i think that that's why if you're a studio you go yeah let's green light it but i don't care about yeah, it. yeah and, and i'll be clear i think it's going to happen right i was i was selling the fact that right. i don't want to see it at all uh, unless they use practical cars and put <laughs> practical gremlins in the practical i'm cars, buying that tomorrow. then i'm buying that yeah movie. exactly as long as they don't put real police in the cars that flip over and explode. no more that, that yes stop 